Shalom people, Truth Hitman here. And I'm just gonna break down Psalms 110 verse one, where it says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit you at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Now Christians take this to mean that the Most High was speaking to Jesus. Um, and then you have some Hebrew Israelites who believe in the same thing, the, the same interpretation. The only thing is that instead of saying the name Jesus, they use the word Yahawashai and say that, you know, it's his Hebrew name. Um, but what it actually is, when you actually study the text and the history of the um, children of Israel, it was a psalm of David. Uh, it could have been written by one of his scribes. Or it could have been written by David himself. Nevertheless, either way, it was still written in the third person. Meaning that when David wrote this psalm, to be, to be given to the Levites, to be sung in the temple, they would understand it to be about David, the Most High talking to David. So... It was written in a third person by David or by one of his scribes. So instead of, remember, this is an English translation. When you see Lord, instead of the actual name of the Most High. Yeah, so they got the capital and um, the, the capital for the second word, Lord. So in the temple now, the Levites would sing the, and it would say the actual name of God said to my master, sit you at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Now, whenever we see um, verses like this, that Christians or people want to use to make you think that there's two gods or the Trinity or, you know, to back up their doctrine, always go back to what the Most High said himself according to the books of Moses so this is this is the standard by which we judge all scriptures that came after now in Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 the Most High himself says thou shalt have no other gods before me and then when you read the book of Isaiah uh, chapter 43 verse 10 the Most High speaking again saying before me there was no God formed key word neither shall there be after me that means there ain't the Most High in the middle and beside him are two other gods and one of them Jesus yeah. Um so you got God the Father, God the Um Son and God the Holy Spirit. But you know but in this order it'd be, you know, the most high in the middle and beside him two other gods. No, he's saying, I even I am the Lord and beside me there is no saviour. Now I was debating with somebody and um they pulled up this scripture. Where it says in Isaiah chapter 47 verse 8. Therefore, now hear this, therefore hear, the, hear now this. Though that are given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly. That saith in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. So they, was, they were saying that in this scripture. Um, this is about a person yeah, who's talking about themselves so because they said this because they said the same thing that the most high said he reckons that you know the person i was de debating was a actual hebrew israelite um from the sakari camp he goes by the name of the deacon he was saying that this was a statement of compatibility and hebrew phraseology um but i'm saying no 
I disagree. This was a statement of pride and arrogance. Uh, it was in, it was it's to be taken in that context, not in the same context that the Most High speaks about Himself. But the Most High was 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 talking about. He didn't just say I am He and beside me there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, He was saying there was no God formed before me. So He's talking in a different context here. There is no creator, no divine creator other than the Most High. There is no saviour besides the Most High. No one can save us. No Jesus, no praying to no other God, no depending on no leaders. Only the Most High can save us. That's not a statement of compatibility. That's a statement of the Most High saying there's no other God be beside him. There was no God formed before him or after him. So it's completely two different um, statements, not to be taken in the same context. Yes, um, the Most High says again in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So when you read Psalms 110, we understand it to be, to mean that the Most High was talking to David, not no other God or no Messiah actually sitting at the right hand of the Most High. No, sit, sit you at my right hand means um, that David is under the protection of the Most High, under the Most High's favour. Yeah, keeping the commandments and the statutes and the judgments of the Most High. Don't let no one fool you. Keep the commandments. Okay? Keep the commandments. 